Hey, lovely viewers welcome to my channel Trends Shows. General Hospital Shocker, A Week of Explosive Drama, Jason's Fury, Christina's Arrest, and Lulu's Heartbreaking Crisis. Get ready for a week packed with turmoil as Jason's intense outburst shakes up Port Charles, Christina finds herself in cuffs, and Lulu's world crumbles. Meanwhile, Laura receives devastating news that sends shockwaves through her life, and Kate spirals out of control. Don't miss the emotional roller coaster as secrets unravel and lives hang in the balance. General Hospital Weekly Spoilers August 19 to 23rd, Jason Rants, Christina Cuffed and Lulu Crisis. General Hospital Spoilers August 19 to 23rd, 2024 show that on Monday, Christina Corinthos Davis is set to be arrested by Jagger Cates. This is a move that leaves Sonny Corinthos and Alexis Davis scrambling for answers. Other General Hospital spoilers reveal that Lulu Spencer is dealing with a medical crisis. So, this adds yet another layer of concern for her loved ones. Jason Morgan, on the other hand, is on edge. He suspects Valentine Cassidine of tampering with Sonny's medication and seeking answers from Anna Devane. More GH spoilers hint that Laura Spencer receives a shocking phone call about Lulu and Violet Finn at the Cordemain stables with Tracy. Ava Jerome continues to play a dangerous game on General Hospital. Also, Molly Lansing starts doubting Eva's role in Christina's fall. The week ends with Sam McCall utterly shocked. And Dante Falconeri opening up to Chase. Don't miss anything on the ABC soap opera from 8 19 8 23 2024. Get all your daily General Hospital spoilers and news here at Soap Dirt. And stay tuned for updates on your favorite characters' fates. Laura receives devastating news about Lulu, and Kate's goes off the deep end. Tuesday, August 20, 2024, today on General Hospital, TJ and Molly have a heart-to-heart, -heart, Nina calls in a favor, and Dante breaks news to Rocco about his mother. All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. Laura arrives at Silver Springs and walks into Lulu's room. She is surprised to find Cyrus there with his Bible. She pulls him out of the room and asks why he's here, as she hasn't seen him in months. He hasn't seen her either and assumed she's been busy with her mayoral duties. He explains he visits Lulu often to read from the Bible to her. He is surprised they haven't run into one another. She asks why he didn't tell her. He admits he knows she had a lot going on and is sorry he didn't clear it with her. He offers to stop his visits if she wants. She appreciates his intentions and reveals there are issues with her daughter's latest rounds of tests. Kevin arrives and learns about Cyrus' visits. Cyrus explains that he is also ministering to other patients. A doctor appears and says she has more tests being run to be sure about what is going on with Lulu and will speak to them later. Cyrus excuses himself as he feels Laura and Kevin need time alone. Laura and Kevin go in to see Lulu. Laura can tell by what the doctor is not telling them that Lulu is getting worse. She can't bear the thought of Lou living her life like this, so she has to have hope and be strong. Kevin embraces her and says to hang on to that hope and to him, the doctor arrives later with an update. She explains that Lulu's tests indicate her liver is compromised. If this continues, her liver will fail. Laura cries, are you telling me my daughter is going to die? At the gallery, Ava calls Scott and leaves a message asking what is going on and where the pharmacist is. She tells him to call her back and throws her phone across the room. Nina enters and says, I think you dropped something. Ava asks what she wants. Nina says she's carved out half a page in crimson for that artist she wants to promote. Ava thanks her, but frankly, she has more important things to deal with. Ava vents about being arrested for attempted murder, 
that her lawyer is MIA, and the FBI agent she trusted has his own agenda. She tells Nina to just say it, she has nobody to blame but herself. Nina admits she wanted to see her suffer, but not like this. Nina asks why she thought Cates would want to help her with a custody case as that's not exactly FBI territory. Ava relays how Cates protected her during a confrontation with Sonny, and she threw in with Cates when he offered to help her. She says all that matters to her is Avery, but now she's terrified that she made a terrible mistake. Ava says she now sees how obsessed Cates is with taking Sonny down. Nina is confused, as that should help her case if Sonny goes to jail. Ava says she is still facing charges for Christina's fall and may be behind bars herself. Nina asks what really happened that day. Ava swears it was an accident. Ava cries that Nina knows her, they were real friends before she blew it. Ava says no matter how bad and selfish she is, Nina knows she'd never hurt a child. Ava explains that Christina came to see her after she was issued a subpoena. She says Christina barged into the room and was screaming at her. She says at some point she put her hands on her, Christina pulled back, tripped over some luggage and fell through the window. She swears she didn't push Christina and begs Nina to believe her. Nina says she can see this is a confusing situation, and things happen quickly. Nina knows life isn't fun when your credibility is shot. She knows a thing or two about that. She knows what happens when you mess with people's lives, resulting in nobody wanting to believe in you. She tells Ava she's a good mom, and if she sees Scott, she'll tell him that she needs him. Ava thanks her and says she's sorry. Nina replies, me too. Dante comes home and Sam hugs him. Sam asks if he can watch the kids so she can visit Christina at her mom's. Dante breaks the news that Christina is not at her mom's. Dante doesn't know all the details but tells her that Kate's arrested Christina and claims Christina attacked Ava, who is an FBI witness. Sam knows her mom is likely on this, and Dante reveals there is more. He tells her Laura let him know something is wrong with Lulu, they sit down, and Dante doesn't know what is going on with Lulu, and doesn't want to talk with Rocco about it until he knows more. Diane calls Sam to let her know that an emergency hearing for Christina has been granted. Dante urges her to go, and she tells him to let her know when he gets updates on Lulu. Later, Rocco comes downstairs and hears they are getting pizza tonight. Dante tells Rocco that they need to talk about his mom. They sit down, and Dante explains that Laura isn't coming tonight as planned, as she went to see Lulu. He explains that the doctors need to talk to her about some tests, and he doesn't know much about what is going on yet. Rocco admits that though he has photos of his mom, and even some videos, her voice never sounds right in them. He's afraid of forgetting what his mom sounds like. However, he knows they can't give up hope, his mom is hanging in so they have to hang in too. He hopes he's the first thing she sees when she opens her eyes, and he hopes it's soon Molly checks in with TJ at the hospital. They discuss what's going on with Christina, and how Jordan reprimanded her for using her ADA privileges to see Ava in jail. She could have been suspended or fired, but his mom and Robert kept it off the books. She doesn't regret confronting Ava, but she's sorry about many things and hopes he can forgive her. Molly sincerely apologizes for avoiding him and not dealing with the loss of their baby. She relays what happened between Kate's and Christina at the hospital, and Kate's claims Christina tried to kill Ava. TJ says that doesn't sound right. Molly agrees, and both she and her mother jump to defend Christina. However, now she wonders if she shouldn't have leaped so quickly to defend her sister. She admits, given how she went and confronted Ava angrily, that she could see Christina doing the same to Ava. TJ isn't sure and brings up the photos. Molly says those pictures could tell another story, maybe Ava was fending Christina off. 
She hates to admit it, but maybe Christina's actions were responsible for the death of their baby. TJ admits he, too, went to Ava for answers. He says her theory about Molly aligns with what Ava told him, so Christina might not be completely blameless. Molly feels that if Christina hadn't gone to see Ava, their child may still be alive. Molly apologizes for putting them in this mess by insisting they use Christina as a surrogate. She knows she's pushed him away, and she let him down. She says she is so sorry. TJ accepts her apology and says he loves her so much. Molly gets a notice that Christina is getting an emergency hearing. Molly feels she should go, and TJ agrees. He says tomorrow they'll figure out everything. At the station, Alexis tells Kate there will be an immediate bail hearing, and he's pursuing malicious prosecution. In the interrogation room, Sonny comforts Christina and promises to take care of everything. Christina swears she never tried to kill Ava, and the only threat she made was to tell the truth about Ava on the stand. Sonny tells Christina this is not about her, it's about a vendetta Jagger has against him for some terrible things he did long ago. Jagger wants to settle the score and is targeting her because Jagger knows how much he loves her. Alexis enters and says she and Diane got an emergency hearing, and she will meet them outside the courtroom. Sonny and Alexis leave, and Christina replays what happened in her head. She remembers Ava grabbing her and her falling over the bag. Outside of the courtroom, Sonny checks in with Alexis. He knows this is her first case in a long time and asks how she's doing. Alexis assures him that Diane has faith in her, and seeing Kate's smug face will light a fire in her. Sonny knows his being there will also drive Kate's crazy, so he'll sit there and say nothing. Elsewhere, the federal prosecutor meets with Kate's. He doesn't feel comfortable facing a judge with a case that's not clear-cut. Kate's orders him to make it clear-cut. He says Christina is charged with the attempted murder of an FBI witness, and he wants her to stay in jail until trial, the hearing begins, and the judge is annoyed by the late hour. Alexis pleads her case that her client was just released from the hospital after undergoing a C-section, and holding her in a cell is a danger to her health. She also says no evidence was presented to justify this arrest, and nothing has been filed. The judge asks the federal prosecutor if this is true and if there is no evidence. The prosecutor claims the evidence is testimony from a credible witness, but the FBI hasn't had time to file it due to the late hour. The judge calls this a colossal waste of time and releases Christina. Suddenly, Kate stands up and blurts out, No! You are making a mistake! He looks over at Sonny. Kate's says the minute Christina leaves this courtroom, her father will have her on a jet out of the country. The judge tells Kate's that he hasn't been held in contempt yet because of his badge. She tells Kate's that he has 48 hours to file the evidence and get his RICO charges in order, or he'll be the one in jail. Annoyed, Kate's asks the prosecutor what that was. The prosecutor tells Kate's he brought him a lousy case and he needs to get his house in order, or he'll prosecute him and take his badge while he's sitting in jail. Sonny looks at Alexis and asks, how did I do? She smiles. Molly arrives and, outside of the courtroom, learns from Sam what happened. Sam says their mom held her own, and Kate's had a complete meltdown. Sam says Kate's produced no evidence and may be brought up on charges. She thinks the charges against Christina will be dropped as there is no case, and Kate's is just trying to get to Sonny. Sam calls the whole thing absurd, as Christina just lost her baby, and instead of, what she said and apologizes. She asks Molly why she wasn't here. Molly admits she only found out about the hearing from a friend, the court didn't want her to know as it might show favoritism. She cries that she was also with TJ discussing their daughter's funeral. Sam embraces her sister. What she said and apologizes. She asks Molly why she wasn't here. Molly admits she only found out about the hearing from a friend, the court didn't want her to know as it might show favoritism. 
She cries that she was also with TJ discussing their daughter's funeral. Sam embraces her sister. Christina, Sunny and Alexis return to Alexis' house. Christina tells her mom she was great in court and thanks her parents for what they did for her. Alexis says they love and adore her, and Sonny says he'll always protect her. Kate's goes to the gallery and vents to Ava about Christina's arrest and how the judge let her go. Ava asks about Christina getting arrested, as this is news to her. He explains after they went over her a story about the photos, he followed through and arrested Christina. But now, she's walked Ava asks if he's talked to Scott. He hasn't, and Ava is worried as she hasn't heard from him. She thinks she'll need her lawyer now more than ever. Kate says she doesn't need Scott, he's the only hope she has left. He tells Ava that she has to give a statement, the one he wants, and she will give it how he wants her to. She says it's late and she's tired, so they can deal with this tomorrow. Kate's refuses, as he has 48 hours to get this case in order or else. He states they are going to start now and perfect her statement. Outside somewhere, Nina calls someone. She says she's desperate, so desperate that she's contacting them. She notes they owe her a favor and she's ready to collect. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Trends shows, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.